and there we see the queen. My preference, of course, is to say Mother Bee. Part of that is because as, uh, as scientists, as biologists, as entomologists, we really should be seeking to accurately describe the organisms that we are uh, studying. And in this case, uh, a queen bee really operates like a mother bee. It doesn't make decisions for the hive as to where foraging is going to take place or how much pollen is going to be brought in. Those are decisions that are made by the workers and uh, the queen herself lays eggs, right? She's that mother bee. And, and yes, there are pheromones that she gives off that have influences on the other bees. Absolutely true. I've turned this frame around just so that we can take a closer look at the queen without me holding the frame upside down. She was on the far side of it. I'm curious, maybe we can see her laying. We've noticed a couple of points in time where she she's put her head into a cell, looking at it to see whether she uh, uh, measures it and approves of it being a location to, to, to lay. But let's follow her here just for a little bit if we can. And who knows, maybe we'll be surprised. We'll get a chance to see her uh, placing her abdomen down inside of a cell, which is where her ovipositor then opens and she deposits an egg. You can see her crawling past a nurse bee there, taking care of one of her younger offspring. Here she is measuring a cell seeing whether she approves of it, see if it's uh, cleaned out and ready to be laid in. There is a very interesting controlling mechanism or cohesive mechanism from the queen's mandibular pheromone. These other bees that are touching her with their antennas, licking her with their proboscis, they are picking up her scent and they are sharing that with the other bees in the hive. That creates a a state of well-being, you might say, where the bees recognize that they are in a state where their mother bee is here, she's performing well, and her scent is spread throughout the hive. Therefore, there's no need to um, seek to make a new queen or a new mother. Well, now that she's reaching the top of this frame, as I often like to do, use that as a, a, a opportunity to put her back in place. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, some of the most recent research I've seen said that bees are very good in their adaptability when it comes to changes that take place in the hive. So I don't think it's vitally necessary that I flip this flame frame back around to put it back in, uh, but I'm going to just so that I'm properly in the habit of taking the frames out and putting them back in in the proper order.